Crafty Friends, I am coming in with another design team project or guest design team project for Crafty City. And uh, again, we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of our Chana store. And definitely check her out at www.craftycity.com. And I think you're just going to love everything that she has. She has tons of stuff. And she sent me this adorable little kit. And this is my final project. I have pretty much used up every little scrumptily umptious thing in this little package here and I just love what I created so my sister um she took her sons to a strawberry patch and I thought okay I want to make a little album for her and I left some of these spaces blank so she can add in some extra photos that she didn't post on her page but anyway I thought it was super adorable photos and I thought okay let's just make something fun and this paper collection definitely screams strawberries. So I thought, all right, let's do it. So I just want to let you know that for the month of May for National Scrapbook Month, I wanted to um, give you all some free digital files. Um, so definitely this is going to be a free cut file. You will have the base of the strawberry. Again, this little layering piece that has the holes for the hearts. And then, of course, you're going to have this little um, topper for the strawberry. And then as well as this farm fresh sentiment. So I hope you all love that. Definitely check out my Facebook group. It is Salty Beach Scrappers. Just look under files and it will be there. Okay. So um, let me just kind of go through a little bit of what I use. So again, like I said, I use a little kit that she sent me and it, it's just adorable. It's a lemon craft paper collection. Um, hold on, let me just grab it real quick. It's called Delicious. Okay. And I pretty much used up almost everything in this. Um, this is the 12 by 12. I also use the 6 by 6. So I used a couple of the 12 by 12 and then some of the 6 by 6. So, um, for you all, I am going to um, color this in. So in case you don't have this paper collection and you want it to look like a strawberry, um, all you'll have to do is print and cut on your Cricut silhouette um, or whatever uh, type of uh, electronic machine you're going to use that you use files for. Um, or if you don't want to do that, go ahead and click on the cut. Okay, so then you can choose any paper that you want and it will cut it out for you. So, um, and then you can size this to whatever you want. I do state that when you put this into them, um, make sure you group them together. When you put this into Cricut or whatever, group it together and that will allow um, this to stay the same size. Okay. Um, although you can probably kind of, you know, match it up as long as you change, um, you know, some little things about it. Uh, well, no, no, you don't have to change the colors unless you hit cut. Okay. But anyway, I just thought this was really super cute. I did a lot of layering. I used this, um, little shimmery paper that I got from Debbie Adams, um, around Christmas time. And I absolutely love it. I have the gold foil, the red foil, I believe was like Christmas color. So this little green color made this kind of pop and so I did use foam tape to go ahead and pop this up from the um, base of the strawberry then again here is the layering piece that has the little cutouts of the hearts it's so adorable I know I kind of covered it up right but it's okay and then I used um, one of the sprays from the kit that she sent me I also did a lot of cut aparts and popped those up as well um, here is one of the wood embellishments she sent me and all I did was just paint it with a little bit of a vanilla paint color and then I left this um, open for her to add photos um, this is a cut file that I bought from Etsy. This is the little slides that you use for the Viewmaster. Um, I thought they were super cute and so I decided to use this and also kind of um, separate um, the you know patterns from here. So again I did a lot of popping up with foam and used um, you know regular layers of paper etc. I did not even use chipboard. All I did was use heavy cardstock okay and just layered this up and it looks almost like a chipboard album. So right here is Ian. He's such a sweetheart. This is his first time going to a little strawberry patch. Uh, he doesn't look too happy but you'll see when he gets the ice cream he loves that. Um, this is actually from some freebies that I found on um, Google. 
Okay. And then again, here's another cut apart from the collection. Then on this page, this is his big brother, Jeb. And so again, I use some um, little strawberries from a collection, um, not from this collection, but from a different collection, a digital collection. I also, um, again, cut out some more of the cut aparts and just kind of pop this up. This um, little um, piece right here I just found on the internet, you know, like a little freebie scalloped doily type thing. And I thought it was cute. And again, here's another one of those little slides. And this one has a heart on it. And then I also use one of the little um, wood embellishments that she sent me. And this one says forever friends, because hopefully they stay friends forever since they're brothers. But we'll see. And see, he's really enjoying the ice cream there. And boy, did they get dirty. But <laughs> super cute. Anyway, you live and you learn. She told me that when she went, uh, she didn't realize she had to bring water bottles to wash off hands and wipeies and all that kind of stuff but she knows for next time <laughs> oh and they should have wore rain boots that was the other thing she said so if you ever go to a strawberry patch and make sure um you kind of have long pants and you know rain boots otherwise it's it gets pretty muddy um especially here in florida since it does rain almost every day for at least an hour or so but anyway i popped this up again with a with the little um, pansy flowers and the little cherries. I just thought this paper collection was so precious. I absolutely love it. Again, I left her another empty little space right here. And here's a little Starbucks um, mug that I created. I thought this was super cute. Um, actually, this is a, uh, I didn't create this. I'm talking about um, that I made. And um, this is a, not a digital cut file. This is a die. Okay. Then right here we have the little apples. And then I used again a little teacup that came from the kit that she sent me. And then I just left this blank so that she could add a little bit about the day on the back there. And I hope you all love this little project and I hope you enjoy the file. Again, don't forget to visit my group to get this. All you have to do is go to the file section and you will find it there and it should be listed as um, strawberry cut file and I'll do like um, A, B, and C so then you'll know because it won't for some reason it won't allow me to do a zip file. I don't know what it is with Facebook but you know they're crazy. Anyway <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day and I cannot wait to see you all make something with a super cute strawberry and again um, you can make it super tiny too just so you know. Anyway Hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous week, guys. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to visit our Chana store, www.craftycity.com. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I love hearing from you. Bye, guys.